Hello and welcome back to the 2023 Junior World Championships here powered by Paragon Disc Golf. We are in the greater Peoria, Illinois area. This is a PDGA major at the end of June. We are filmed here by Crew42 on the PDGA page. My name is Zach O'Haran on one of the commentators, Mike, and joined with me for this tournament, I have Grace Dykema. Hello, hello. Back again. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video, subscribe, check out Crew42. Uh, check out Grace on her oh, social. Yes, throw with Grace. Yeah, check them out. Taking a quick look, we are on the back nine of Sunset Hills. Our first look at kind of a pro level course for yeah. FPO for you guys. Um, Ellie doing Ellie things right now, of course, uh, under of par. Um, Trinity doing pretty well as well. She's at par right now yeah. overall. Everyone else just a little over par. Mm -hmm. Trying to find some positions here to you know kind of be where we need to be at before going back to Kennel Lake. Hole 10 is where they're at now. What do we got? Hole 10, 301 feet. You got to throw something that finishes left here because being in those bushes are a lot more guarded, I would say, than what it looks in the video. Yeah. And then just kind of anywhere on this left side, you've got a putt. This would be a perfect forehand hole if you got one. Oh, yes. This is also the location of the other random casual brush pile. <laughs> like you'd have to mess it up to get there, but it is technically right there. It is there. Hole is playing pretty in the middle for difficulty. Yeah. It's just kind of not many bogeys or doubles, but yeah. also not a bunch of easy birdies. Yeah, birdies are tougher than like you mentioned that bush that Ellie just went behind. It's right in your landing zone where you want to kind of attack. So you can try to throw higher and kind of push through the yeah. willow tree, but there's a lot of gambling involved with oh, that yeah. as well. So far, um, Ellie might be in position. She's behind the bush right now. We'll see in a minute, but only one right now. It looks like Montana's going to join her behind that bush right as in well. The bush. That's that's such a well positioned it's bush so too. Close. It's, it's if so good. if that bush isn't there, this hole becomes the it's easiest so on the easy. course. Yeah, really quickly. Forehand, forehand, right under the basket. We've seen that a lot. I think that's her uh, katana. I think she's far enough where she shouldn't have too bad of a low ceiling. Yeah. Yep. Sometimes if you're too far. Yeah, I find yourself in yeah. weird spots. If you're short and right, it's not that good. No. Short and left, it's just a forehand or a turnover pitch. Montana yeah. had no run at that one. She's just going to throw over the bush. Ellie's trying Wide. to. Wide. Is she <laughs> forehand? Yeah. Yeah. Not even a real putt. Did the chain? Yeah. Okay. Pretty good bid from there, honestly. Yeah. That could have been way worse, but gives a baby run. It looks like we're going to have four pars here. Pending any nasty spit outs, right? You I shouldn't. Know. Yeah, you I was gonna know. say we've already seen a couple. <laughs> we've we've already seen a couple this tournament. These baskets are nicer though than kind of lakes. So. Yeah, one of one of the bands is loose. Yeah, and we'll see that this nine later on. Um, you, someone will tap it in, and that thing will start nodding back at you. <laughs> but everything I'm, overall, the course is in great condition yeah. still. Love to uh, see you know what you guys look like and attacking this course. Like I said, it's an FPO for Ledgestone. Uh, it's an amazing course. Hole 11 now. What do we got? 193 feet. You're trying to throw something um, that obviously once again finishes left, so you're in that flat area because having to do any sort of like run up if you have to on that, or most people wouldn't be running up with yeah. their distance, but anything on that side hill is tricky. And then there is a lake uh, or a pond or something deep of the basket. But I would say it's not too tricky to find. Again, just a tough one to like, it's harder to bogey than it is anything else. But like birdies are just, yeah. it's that distance where it is very downhill. It's very reachable, but it's just kind of that weird distance where it's like. Not many people are going to have tap-ins for yeah. sure. Need some ground play action. And with all the rain we've had, it's going to slow down. The, you can see Ellie yeah. there, you know, getting. Not nearly as much as earlier this week. Right. Much, much bigger. If you had played on Tuesday, that might have skipped into the pond, <laughs> right? It just, just plays a little different today. This needs to hold that angle. Flirting with that tree. But stay safe. Ooh, friendly Ooh. roll. This is going to be closest to the little... basket. Yeah. <laughs> Great shot from her. See, I think she's in circle two here. Yep. Yeah. Circle two. She'll have an uphill putt at that. Montana, Great this looks really good. Her. Yeah. Good straight flat line. It's just gonna... match the hill that whole way. Mm-hmm. Just choked up a little early. She'll have a long circle two, maybe just outside circle two. Yep. 
Nice and easy. Simple up and down. No over complications. Same for Ellie. She is looking at the lake. You can't see it really yeah. well, but it's right behind it. Kind of where that feet. grass gets long. Mm -hmm. I would say, like, for this card, it's not too much in their head, but I feel like if, like, MJ yeah. was playing here, it could, like, if you had the distance, you could mm -hmm. maybe go long. Yep. But most of these ladies are just going to pitch up for a par. Looks like we're going to have four tap-ins as well. No birdies on hole 10 or 11, but they play very similarly in difficulty. Just not yeah. that many bogeys. It's you. It's more of a I messed up or chained out on the yeah. approach or putt. And so uh, just unfortunate there if anyone took bogeys. But really just two pretty straightforward holes here as we move on to hole 12, which is now one of the most complex holes, yes. I think, on the oh, course. Oh, yeah. 402 feet. This one... I would say it's sort of a water carry if you like if you wanted yeah. to throw something wide just mm -hmm. because like that water comes in super fast and then this upshot too there's kind of just like a slanting hill the entire yeah. way into the water and so if you not wanted, many barriers no. <laughs> so like if you wanted to get aggressive on the putt it could very easily roll yeah this is a, th I watched so many people doing the drone footage for this course I watched probably 80 to 100 and 50 people somewhere in there just throw out this hole and how many of them went into that pond yeah trinity trinity just barely stays safe yeah i mean that's great i mean that's a great drive yeah it, to be in that position you have a putt at it i mean even people in m1 fa1 i mean taking a birdie here is bonus just because of the difficulty oh, of the yeah. green luckily for us there's not a lot of wind here no. ellie going deep of the basket and actually oh, going to get wow. an unfortunate roll ob oh. deep didn't think that was possible, no. but somehow it was. <laughs> and this one, going back to Trinity's drive, if you can finish as far as you can to the right without going in the water, yep. this one's pushing. Nope, that one's just going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the best drive yeah. of the group right that's there. Amazing. Being in circle is a great, great shot. But uh, the farther right you are, the less those trees are in your way for the upshot. You're a little fortunate, no wind. Usually this hole yeah. is ripping, which means most drives, like here we see Montana going left, yep. there's an OB T pad up there. And so, like, that comes into play. Yep. I've seen a thousand people throw, like, I'm going to throw over the lake, and they sure did. And then that disc still lands left of that T pad because of the wind. And so, luckily, nothing too crazy wind wise no. for you guys on this, for this particular part of the day. Hmm, good, good run. run from her. Yeah. yeah. Didn't run away. That's good. Ellie, this is for her par. <laughs> Circle's edge deep. Oh my god. Just yeah. And Dead she center. gets it. It's a great save. She's good just shot. Her own game out here, yeah, she is. <laughs> She's just here to play and everyone else is having fun with her. Oh. And here's that roll you're talking about. Needs to it... not okay. yeah, it curls up. Okay, we're good. Still a very long comebacker, though. There we go. No big deal for her. Got one last putt here from very Montana. Downhill. Oh. That's the danger of the uphill. You can see the band right now. It's yep. <laughs> wibble wobble. <laughs> we'll be right back after some quick announcements from our sponsors for this event after Trinity taps in here before we come back for hole 13. Hole 18 at Worlds, down by one. It's got to go in. Oh, no! no way! No way! Unbelievable. Hole 13, 280 feet. This one's sort of an island hole. Uh, you can land short in this area like where the drone is right now, but once you get to that line where the drop zone is, all of those long grasses OB, and then there's a wide circle around the basket that mm -hmm. is then inbound. Yeah, it's like a it's like a moat. Yeah. It's an OB moat around <laughs> the green area, which sounds really strange when there's not a moat there. Yeah, there's no water. So like all these are that drive safe. It's that short. That safe. Yeah. And I think she got a good kick yeah. out. Out of the woods. So, okay. <laughs> 
Ellie, I would guess, is going for it. Yeah. She has the power. She has a stable enough disc. That looks great. great. That's really good. <laughs> a lot of people like with a forehand look here. Okay. I'm not a forehand player, so I would never even like think to see that, but it's I could definitely see it there. Yeah, they like to do a little force turnover and try to like have the stability of this pan it into that like the intended fairway. walking yeah. fairway. I don't know if it's the best play or not. Ooh, early release for Montana. Not where she wants to be there. No. Trini's got actually a very fortunate look from here. Just a kind of straight at it shot. This is a slow down. Slow down. Okay. There's a, like, the circle of 33 feet is, mm -hmm. like, there's some area past that where the OB line is. Maybe a foot. So I would say, yeah. Just to pitch out from Montana. Tough break from her to yeah. you kind of eliminate the run. She lands. Yeah, that's a decent shot mm -hmm. from there. Yep, 15 feet, 20 feet, somewhere in there. Great look here from Lillian. She's, what, like three feet from the OB? <laughs> yep. That's where you got to do with this hole. Yeah. No OBs for the so card. That's good. No drop zones. Yeah. Dead center. Nice. Looked good, too. Were Great there uh, any drop zone putts from your card? No, we didn't. Huh? I think we had... We might have had one. I'm not remembering. Had the one. Head. Okay. Speaking of one... Guess how many birdies there were on this hole. <laughs> I'm going to go with one. <laughs> yeah, we just saw. Oh, oh, dang it. Thought she had that one, unfortunately, just a touch low. Yeah, that's a that's a common story for this, uh, this event, it feels like. Yeah. There's not a lot of, especially on these later courses, there's not a lot of birdies, but there's also a lot of holes that take some effort to bogey. Oh, for sure. <laughs> well, this so, is one of them right here. Yep. 329 feet. The long grass on the left and the right are OB, um, but pretty, like, just kind of a straight shot. Not a lot of elegant, no thing, oh, I can't talk. <laughs> Nothing in the way off the tee, and then these branches can sort of come in the way if you want to throw something, like, really yeah. wide. But I would say these ladies are probably going to be able to get there. No problem. Yeah, I think it of all four players, all of them throw pretty well straight. No surprise Ellie is going to go deep in the oh, basket. Slow down. <laughs> she That's OB over there, right? Deep and left? Deep and left is OB. I yeah. don't remember if it curls all the way over there. Mm, that's good. Yep. I'm not sure if it does either. We're going to pretend like it does. Ooh, close call there. <laughs> Add some drama. Trinity, this one just stays straight flight that entire way. And mm -hmm. a little bit of a worm rating at the end. Getting some extra distance towards the basket. Circle two look from there. Yeah, in, in that first part of the shadow, circle two, you'd yeah. have to get another 30 feet to kind of really get into circle there. I think that's just a safe place. Safe, yeah. yeah. I think she threw it a little higher to keep it straighter overall, and so she's going to be in the fairway. Montana looking to go big here. This looks really good shot this shape wise. Great. Yeah, circle two. Pretty short, yeah. It's deceptively longer it than is. it looks too. It is. You mentioned it too. Those trees kind of playing a barrier. You want to throw it higher, more confident, but you like will run into them too. It's a it's a balancing game, and sometimes yeah. it leaves you a little short. Trini with a long look. Mm. Ooh. Just a touch short. Yeah. Good line from her. Very similar range here from yeah. Montana. Not quite also. enough there, but she'll be parked. And we finally get to Ellie's <laughs> drive. <laughs> this is way back here. That looks pretty high. Yep, up and over it. She threw a 360 drive on a 330 hole. And now she's got this 25-footer. Yeah, a tester for sure. Oh, splashes in. Good save. Yeah, for some people. Tester for well, some, yeah. right? No. <laughs> <laughs> she's been on fire a lot this tournament. so. No birdies on this one either. No. Nope. Only one double bogey, I think. They probably hit early OB. Yeah. 
but no problem for our card. Everyone's going to get that par. I'm intrigued by Lillian's tap in. It almost looks like oh, a like yeah. a baseball or not a baseball. The basketball, basketball thing. Yeah, yeah she yeah. F- flicks it in all the time. Oh, I it scares me every time. <laughs> every time. Here's hole, a tough hole. Yes, hole 15, 555 feet. You're trying to drive anywhere like straighter to the right. If you're off to the left, it is OB in that long grass, and it pinches you off for this next shot, which then is a dog leg to the left. <laughs> no, it's all good. I mean, landing so, zone here is what? Yeah. Probably two, 300? I would say it's about 300 to this tree. Okay. And then you're going to the left, low ceiling like this entire way almost. And then that little stump kind of takes out anything, any mm-hmm. low plays. And then the baskets, I would say another like two. I would say it's like 300 to that tree yep. and then 250 after that. Yeah, it's and it does not feel like 250 because it's so low. Yeah. It requ- It feels like it's more than 250 for sure. Ellie here is probably trying to get to the corner yeah. here, which is a very aggressive because there's OB on that left side. I ca- splashes can't believe that she got through. <laughs> I thought for sure it was OB, and then it went right on the other side. Just skipped right through it. Fortunate break for I Ellie. If there. That little spot didn't get as much rain as the rest of the Yeah, corners. right? Yeah. So <laughs> someone's out there earlier with the hair dryer making sure it's yes. extra dry for Ellie Skip. Low release there from Trinity. This one looks also low from her, mm-hmm. but you're, I would say most of these ladies are okay to get to the tree in two. Yeah, I was going to say two two shots to get to the tree is probably game plan, right? One would be bonus. Montana's probably wanting to be aggressive yeah. here, but she's in danger of that OB left, and you can see that paint of line. Uh, she's going to trickle over barely. it. Yep, not by a lot, but just enough. In fact, you see a lot. Like I think Lisa Fakus's play at Letchstone is to throw a forehand off the tee here with like a f- real stable disc just to lay up back into the corner and then attack the basket. Yeah. This is a great, great shot. Great shot from her. And it even gets a little skip so she won't have that tree right in her way for the next one. That was really good. Tricky shot here for the forehand. She's probably thinking just trying to see the tunnel. Even if you're farther back, yeah. just see the tunnel. I think Yeah, she should have a good look from there. Mm-hmm, I agree. Montana's thinking to do a skip shot. Unfortunately, oh. lifts it high, and there's an OB line on the other side of that tree line. Oh, and it's found it's that? I, yeah, she does. She oh, actually gosh. peers her way through it to get to the OB. It's un, I don't know. I was not even aware of that line. <laughs> I didn't know it was there when I started coming up here with the camera. I like looked to my left and saw one. There's okay. like this faint white line. It just happens to be on the other side of that. It's to prevent people from purposely or, oh, going deep like am one players like or open players yeah going way. deep and then yeah. trying to play the hyzer because you could do that that'd be a yeah. play for two but she does not get out after her first pitch out attempt here's her second one up on the log the ob log Stay there safe. but it's just over just that barely. inbounds <laughs> grass I, this is her first Finally second. Ellie's drive. Yeah, this is her second. That's, that's crazy drive. Disappointing shot from her drive to only get. Yes, that I agree. I, I agree. Failed to execute what she was looking to do there because that was a great chance to maybe get an eagle look, and yeah. she's now still in the fairway, not even circle two, I would say. Get up there from Trinity. Hoping to get up and down from here. She's already taken two OB strokes. This is going to put her in circle okay. tw- yeah, 15 feet yeah, or so. Like 20, 15, 20, yep. something like that. Hopefully she can stop the bleeding at this point. Ellie, long range from the fairway. Just high. Don't, okay. I thought it was going to scoop behind that little tree. Yeah. She's it's... got to look from there. I don't know what it is about this green, but I feel like everyone always finds trouble here. There's just a ton of stuff inside circle. Well, yeah. Plinko's on the left, the big tree behind it, the bush that Ellie's by. There's just enough going on in this green that if you're not next to the basket, there's problems. Ooh, misrelease there from Trinity. Mm-hmm. Like, like this shouldn't be, it's 15, 20 feet, but have to go to a knee. Of course she catches it. Yep. <laughs> 
Ellie is still under par. I know. That is. Two under for the round. Oh, wide oh. right for Montana. Struggling to find her putt, it looks like, on these last couple holes. Tricky putt there from a knee and through the gap. And now going to tap in. It's going to be a big number for Ooh. her. That's going to set her back a little bit here That's before we... That's going to move her back a lot. Yep. This, this round, everyone's playing for the top six in the semis. Correct. This is There's a hard cut for this division. Uh, after this round, you said top six. Yep. Uh, so that we'll have two threesomes for the next round. One of my favorite partnerships with Discraft is the Paul McBeth molds. The Athena specifically has just been a really fun one because it's a disc that I've been looking forward to. It's definitely a staple in my bag. It sits right between my Undertakers and my Onyx. A little bit blunt nose so it can fight and handle the wind. It can handle some torque. And it's just one that I can throw at all powers. That's what I really like about it. I'm just glad that we're able to make this disc, have it in hand, and have it as a stock disc that anyone can get. All right, we are back. We're a hole 16. Last three holes for the round at Let's sunset. Go. Yeah, 352 feet. This one, as long as you stay up on this ledge here, then you're okay. If you go down the hill to the right, it can get tricky. Um, that dead, like, stump, or I guess it's, it's more than a stump, but that dead trunk behind the basket tends to just catch everything. I don't know what it is about it. It's... It's like perfectly placed. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like someone planted it to be difficult. I would not have thought that like, oh, it's just a tree. You just go to any of the other directions and you're fine. But everything just seems to land there. Ellie's going to be a little short in that mm -hmm. bush, I think. Yeah, 15 was playing as the hardest hole in the day. 16 is playing as the second easiest. So it's a yeah. quick contrast from, oh my gosh, this is real tough to trying to take a good score on this hole. Great shot there from Trinity. This one I would say has a, would have a lot more birdies, but still not no like not many people are going to be disappointed with a par. Yeah, it's three fifty, so it's right in that power range of like it's a max distance for most people. Ellie can outdrive it, but for most people, it's going to be a max distance yeah. just to get a look. Um, Montana here on the backhand, like this is good height. It's going to hide her out a little earlier than she wants, but like that's pretty good yeah. and like that's still 180 Circle feet too, yeah sure. yeah outside of that so it's, it's a tough hole just to be able to have an opportunity well he was way off course yeah, on her drive way off to the right big highs were to get herself a circle two look here now montana oh sure, sure. <laughs> Great we'll take save. that that's a way to come back after the last hole. Yeah, it takes a big number on the previous one, gets a throw in on the next one, helps helps a lot. Just off oh, the top. Just barely. I wanted to follow up Montana's putt with another big one. I know. <laughs> she was giving it the effort. I'll, get, I'll let you have a wild guess on how many birdies were on this hole. I was hole. just going to ask. It's probably just Montana. Just the one. Okay. That's right. Although our card had three reasonable looks yeah. at it. so Or two reasonable looks. I'm sorry. Lily's was for par because she had the early yeah. cut roll. Or no, it would be three because Trinity's was still a birdie look. Oh, yeah, you're right. It would have been three. <laughs> yep, you're right. I knew I was right the first time in my head, but for some reason I, I doubt myself. That's why you're here to help me <laughs> stay on the straight and narrow. One last tap in here. That's going to move us on to hole 17. One of my favorites on this course. Yeah. It's very difficult, very unique. Grace, break it down. 525 feet with a Mando. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it plays too far into play, but it's mostly just preventing you from going out and around. You're trying to throw it as far as you can, like staying up on this gap. And then you're trying to get your second shot. Well, okay, most people are probably going to play it safe and just try to get their second shot to this gap mm -hmm. because it goes downhill and it goes downhill really fast. Very quickly. And I would say a lot because when we played this in practice, um, it was still that really dry. Yeah. And so everything was just picking up and skipping or rolling or everything. So now that it's playing a little, like everything's a little more damp and a little more mm -hmm. grabby. So we'll see... We'll see how aggressive these ladies get. 
And the green, I, th- I would say, is very similar to 15 in the sense of being like, there's enough close to the basket that 15 yes. feet, but in the wrong direction, can it's make difficult. your putt yes. very tricky. So, like, to your point, just being in the right position is really this important. This is pushing the mando. Okay. That might have been a helpful tree. There, yeah, that was going 100% the helpful mando. tree. That was missing the mando by a lot. That was very much shanked. Good line from Trinity. Center fairway. It's going to get a couple skips. She thought where I was standing was a good landing zone, so she put it right there. Mm, also this, pushing towards yeah. the Mando. It's actually going to be right of the Mando, but short it's of it. Short of it, okay. So she gets a chance to recover, but... It's going to be a difficult angle being over there. Great up from Ellie. That should give her, I think she made it. Yep. Yeah, she right made, where right that. Right to the gap. Yep, dry patch of grass. So it goes from green to dead. The dead the area is great. Yep. That's ideal landing zone. Pitch out there from Lily is going to hopefully give her an open shot to the landing zone as well. Here's. Montana, she looks like she's getting a little she's aggressive. She's getting aggressive. Yeah, there's a push for fourth place for this one. or Because mm-hmm. um, nobody was really sure about whether it would be top four for lead card. Right. And so everyone was still kind of fighting for that last spot. Everyone wants to be on Crew 42. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> that one's going to be in the bush for Trinity, unfortunately. See what kind of look she has for her pitch out. Layup here is going to be yeah. a little out of position. A deep, but not the end of the world. Yeah, should have a putt from there. Like a hyzer putt towards yeah. the basket, probably. Ellie smartly just laying that one up. <laughs> I say, if you see Ellie laying up, it's like, it's a tough green. <laughs> She's Yeah. She usually likes to run everything. Oh, oh. no. Lily hits really. Thankfully, that one sat down because that one could have been. It could have been bad. Way bad. Trinity with another tricky look here. Good pitch. Right yeah, that was really good. Great pitch out. Oh, mm. just high. Yeah, good so bit. That on was it. her second shot for Montana. Third. Third. Okay. Yep, that was her. That was her birdie look. Some tap ins here to wrap up hole seventeen. I think we have one bogey, and the rest should be pars, if I remember number of strokes correctly. Should be, oh, double. Oh, right, because she missed off the side, yep. So she's going to lose two strokes there, and so that, you know, kind of brings everything questioning again, but we only have one hole left on this gauntlet of a course, Grace. Hole 18, 338 feet. I would say this is a pretty, like the rest of this course has been, not many birdies, not many bogeys. A pretty parable last hole. Most people are trying to land somewhere at like the base of this hill or on this hill and then go towards the basket for their second shot. There is a big like downhill and uphill going to the basket, but yeah. the final position of the basket is like the same height and these ladies have a distance where they can definitely get to the bottom. Yeah, getting to the bottom, right where Montana's landing, gives you an opportunity to just lay up from there, which yeah. is fine. If you're playing for the three, that's fine. If you're getting really aggressive trying to get into the hill, you really have to commit low. Yeah. And that can be hard to do because you'll turn it over. They're like, uh, Ellie well, had there. a good line there. It just yeah. faded out. Yeah, just but that was the right. She's too high, and so that's going to give the disc too much airspace to get left early rather than going low and having it hold straighter longer. Trinity threw something too flippy and on too much Anheuser, and so she went in the right direction to finish well, but catches the the hill right the by the tent. Of, yeah. yes. <laughs> if she got over that hill, she probably would have gone 30 feet, 40 feet closer. This looks like it's turned over too much. Too much, but it still is going to make its way forward. Yeah, she gets some great distance out of that one. Ooh, that might be a tricky putt from there around that tree. 
It's like the last guardian too. Yeah. It's like the one last thing you gotta miss. Ellie does a good job of it. She's gonna right be right by there. the basket. Uh oh. Also under that tree. Trini with the best look of the group. I think she's just trying to get off the course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, Trinity has played to her game plan really well. She talked about this in the front nine. Her game plan likely to be, good catch there, uh, to shoot a clean, even clean. round yeah. and hope Ellie kind of goes OB to get strokes. Unfortunately, Ellie just played Unstoppable. well. Right. But, I mean, still, plus one at this course Abs is a great round. He's a fantastic round. That's so good. here for Lily. Oh. You can see her reaction too. She's like, really? Just really? didn't want to go in, huh? Caught that nub and just scooted left immediately. So we get her basketball tap in. Yes. Classic. <laughs> and that's going to do it for the Sunset Hills here. We finally got through the course. Oh, how's it feel to get through that oh, one? <laughs> I, I think everyone's relieved to just be done. No, yeah, for sure. Ellie there. Make one on the round. Oh, and clean. That's yeah. so big just to be clean on that. Uh, there are four holes in the back nine that had no birdies, uh, but they're all relatively easy parts. So those yeah. distances, like you were talking about, just kind of that weird distance that's really hard to score on. But taking a look at our leaderboard here, Ellie extending her lead further yeah. to 17 strokes, eight strokes from her. And now it's like third. Kind of got that second place locked up. She's got a good lead on third, but yep. also a lot of distance to catch Ellie. Yeah, there's Kennel Lake still around the corner, so she's yes. got to keep control, but definitely some space for one, two, and three, and then a good cluster of people around yeah. four through six Fighting that are forth. trying to still fight back into that podium. But thanks for being here with me. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun, and we'll see everyone on the back nine.